Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Today I will be hunting through the Dorking Box. That is what we do usually on Fridays here on the Card Wolf Network. We hunt through the Dorking Box, and what that means is we roll this big pink 20-sided die, and that tells us which of these 20 packs we get to open today. And today, by your request, is a mixed Dorking Box. That's right, we have Vintage football and vintage baseball in here. Packs from the 80s and 90s scattered throughout with, of course, the very best packs being the 1, 10, and number 20 pack. And I will show you what those are before we start rolling this up. We have in the number one spot is the 1984 Topps football wax pack that uh, I showed you when we did dorking with dice through the uprights last week which was an all-football box. I had this one in there as a special pack, and I wanted to carry that over. I'm, I'm really psyched. I want to open this pack, so I have that in the number one spot. You can get some great cards out of here, including an Elway rookie, Dan Marino rookie. The list goes on and on. Some really great rookie cards can come out of here, and lots of Hall of Famers, too, including uh, Walter Payton and many others. So that is in the mix in the number one spot. And the number 10 spot is a pack that has been in the baseball dorking box for a while. It's this uh, pretty cool Upper Deck All-Time Heroes of Baseball pack from 1994. The reason I'm excited about this pack is you have the potential to pull autographed Hall of Fame cards out of here. Autographed cards by Hall of Famers. You also get a uh, gold card in every pack, a 125th anniversary card every pack so that should be a good one and it's a pack that you almost never see i was surprised that i even had one of those so uh, that is pretty cool i hope we open that one and then a new pack in the number 20 spot you will remember on our big uh, double dorking episode of dorking with dice last friday we opened our 1982 tops baseball pack huge pack for us to open and i thought how do i follow that up and so the best way i could think of to follow it up was with a 1983 pack of Topps Baseball. And that's what we have here, a 1983 wax pack of Topps Baseball that has been in my collection, low these many years since 1983. What is that, almost 40 years now? So uh, this one is in the mix. And of course, 1983 is a huge pack because you can pull and uh, you can pull rookie Wade Boggs, rookie Tony Gwynn, and rookie Ryan Sandberg from here, as well as many Hall of Famers and other rookies. This is a, a tremendous pack, and I really hope we open that one up today, too. That would be awesome. So all we need to do is roll a 20 for that one, a 1 for the 1984 Topps football, and a 10 for this uh, Upper Deck All-Time Heroes of Baseball pack, which uh, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody open one of those on YouTube, so that would be pretty awesome, too. And of course, the rest of the packs in here are no slouches. There are some really good packs scattered throughout here as well. It is a mixed box of vintage football and baseball by your request. So uh, let's see what we do. We're all our first pack today, and it is going to be, uh, what do we have here? And number two, looks like we get pack number two there. So what do we have in the number two slot? We have 1988 Topps Football. That is a pretty good pack, actually. I'm trying to remember, I don't have my list in front of me. I made a list, uh, maybe I have it right over here, because I couldn't keep it straight. We have here... Here it is, 1988, we have, uh, that's actually a really good pack. I think that should have maybe been in the number one slot or the number 10 slot. That is a uh, Bo Jackson rookie possibility out of there. That's actually a really good pack. And uh, Cornelius Bennett also has a rookie in there as well. That's actually a really good pack. I don't know why I blanked on that. I started getting confused because I have 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92, and they all look the same because Topps used the same design on the wax packs for all of those years, and so they get jumbled in my head. Plus, I'm old, and that's what happens. So uh, this is an 88 pack that I've had since 1988, I'm sure, and uh, we're going to open that up. Hopefully we pull the uh, Bo Jackson Rookie. That's a hugely expensive card, if you can get it in PSA 10, worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So it'd uh, be nice if we could pull one of those pack fresh, of course, there's some bubble gum from 1980 in there as well. We will not be eating that because I value my dental work. So let's uh, flip this over and we start off with a Hall of Famer. That is the way to go. We got Mike Singletary starting us off there. That is fantastic. Brian over at uh, Bears Fan 34 is going to be delighted 
to see that. That's a really sweet looking card, and these are pack fresh. That is a beautiful card. We'll certainly wolf layer that one. That's a really nice one. Then we've got a scoring leaders card. That is pretty sweet too. Usually the scoring leaders are kickers, and you can see Jim Breach is over there for the Bengals, but the scoring leader for the NFC was Jerry Rice because he was a monster. So that is awesome too. I am happy to get that one. Another Hall of Famer on that card. I'll wolf layer that too. That is awesome. Greg Townsend there from uh, the Raiders. Let's get these in focus and centered for you. Nice uh, Chiefs card there. Kenny Ground Attack. And uh, Mark Murphy, safety for the Packers. Curtis Duncan. Henry Ellard, good player for the Rams. Great wide receiver for them. Very nice card there. And our 1,000 Yard Club insert card is Carlos Carson, a, a good wide receiver for the Chiefs for many years. Carlos Carson was uh, a really uh, dangerous receiver. As you can see, he got 1,000 yards there. Uh, Bob Crable for uh, the Jets. And you can see he is on the landline telephone because it's 1988, and that's what we had back then. And uh, you got Jeff Donaldson there looking, just looks like, and the nicest guy looks like he wants to just give you a big hug. But that's not what he did when he played safety for the Oilers, I can tell you that. Joe Montana, hello, there we go. Man, this is a fire pack. That is a good card there. That is awesome. Love to see that. Wow, fantastic card. Joe Montana certainly goes in the wolf lair. we got a Packers team card. Epps ready for contact. And he was a wide receiver for them. Lorenzo Hampton from the Dolphins. Jerry Gray. And another Joe Montana. I cannot believe this pack. Holy cow, that is crazy. We got the regular Montana and the record breaker. That is a beautiful car too. <laughs> that is, wow, I cannot believe this. And then Kellen Winslow right behind him, another Hall of Famer, one of the uh, best tight ends ever to play, in my opinion. Of course, uh, he is probably most famous for that amazing playoff game against the Dolphins. I remember watching that and just being blown away by Kellen Winslow's performance in that. That was uh, one of the best football games I've probably ever seen. And uh, man, so many great cards out of that pack. That was That is what I'm talking about. That is what I like to see here on Dorking with Dice is the fire pack, which is what I think we got there. I'm going to put the uh, Carlos Carson 1,000 yard card on top and keep those uh, pack fresh cards over there in the wolf lair. Wolfie can protect those for me. We're going to roll again here. We uh, have only opened one pack, though it seems like with that number of awesome cards, we must have opened like five by now. So let's roll our second pack. We have opened number two, and now we're going to open number eight. For a moment there, I thought we were going to get that 20. So this is 10, 9, and 8. There's a baseball pack. It's 1989 Fleer. And uh, some people hate the design on this. I've talked to people about this before, and people... Are very have very strong feelings about this design. Some people do anyway. So uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how you feel about it. This, uh, it's a pretty good set. You can get uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie out of here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Randy Johnson rookie, Smoltz rookie, and uh, I think you can get uh, just one other one. Oh, I can never remember them all. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's the other one? Oh, Biggio, Craig Biggio. It's because I don't collect Biggio. That's probably why I can never remember him whenever I talk about 1989. So, of course, I'm looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. That would be an awesome pull out of this. Uh, and I'll get this in focus for you. We see the uh, stickers that they put in every pack of these. Willie Randolph right there. That's a nice card. I like that one. I don't know who the rando is in the background. What, what is going on there? Who is that guy? And now my phone is ringing. That has never happened on an episode before because I usually mute my phone. I apologize for that. I don't know what is going on there. There's somebody calling from Arizona. I don't know anybody in Arizona. So uh, unless one of you guys is calling me who lives in Arizona, if it's you calling me, I just can't take it right now. I'm trying to do a show. You guys should know better than to call me while I'm trying to do a show. Everybody knows better than that. Willie Randolph right there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who this rando guy is in the background. If my camera will focus, you can check it out too. Who is that guy? Why is he on the field? Why is he dressed like that? He's dressed like that because it's 1989, I guess. That's, I should know the answer to that. Bruce Ruffin and Pete O'Brien right there making a catch at first base. Andres Thomas for the Braves. Had a short-lived career in the majors. And here we've got 40 steals, speed and power, Jose Canseco. That's a pretty nice card. I'll put that one on top. I don't collect Canseco, but that's a pretty cool card. Todd Froweth there. Todd Froweth, a pretty decent pitcher in the league for a while. Tommy Herr, second base for the Twins there. He came up with the Cardinals, of course, and he was uh, 
he was pretty solid. He, he was actually an all-star a couple of times, if I'm remembering right. Roger McDowell right there. He looks like he's a hitter, but he's actually a pitcher. He's got the batting helmet on. He's over there by the bats, but he's a pitcher. Chuck Krim for the Brewers. And there's the Bo Jackson. Wow, look at that. That is nuts. I was hoping we'd get the Bo Jackson out of the 88 football pack, but instead we get it out of the 89 baseball pack. I will not say no to a Bo Jackson. That is a sweet card. Happy to get that, and very nicely centered, too. That's a good card. Bob McClure, Mets pitcher Scott Bales. Checklist card, because I just cannot seem to do an opening without getting a checklist card out of a vintage pack. Charlie Hayes, looking kind of pissed. I don't know what happened to Charlie Hayes that day, but he is not happy about it. Buck up, Charlie. It's going to be okay. Steve Curry right there, who just looks sort of confused, and yet more random people in the background. I, uh... Gotta get that glare out of there, and you can check out that random person in the background. I don't know. I don't think you want to get that close to Steve Curry's face. It looks like he hasn't eaten in about three days. So we're going to put Jose Canseco on top of that one, and we will put that over there. And uh, I guess we're going to roll for another pack. That's only been two packs, and we've pulled some great cards. Let's roll for a third, see how we do on this one. We get the 11, number 11, so we know this is 10. And behind that is another pack of football. You can see what I was talking about, how these designs can be sort of uh, confusing if you're not that, uh, if you don't remember that easily. So that's the 88, that's the 90. It's the same design, just different color scheme. And uh, we should get another thousand yard club card out of the 1990 pack, which should be a pretty good one. And out of 1990, you can get uh, Aikman rookie, Sanders rookie. Of course, a lot of people do not consider this the Aikman or the Sanders rookie because they were in the uh, traded set from 1989 and, and you know those are kind of what I think a lot of people consider their true rookie cards but as far as like a regular issue rookie those are in here and you know they're they're very nice cards I, I don't really uh, see any uh, reason not to consider those rookies but most people don't but uh, anyway this is one that I uh, have had in my collection for quite a while and I am happy to open it now hopefully we'll get something good out of here I think I think 1990, you can also get a Junior Seau rookie. You guys will have to tell me if I'm wrong about that, but I think you can out of this. And there's some delicious bubblegum from 1990. That actually looks in pretty good shape, I have to be honest with you. Let's uh, get that up to the camera and see if it wants to focus on this uh, decades-old bubblegum. And you can see what I'm talking about. That's actually in pretty good shape. There's no mold evident on that. And it does not smell at all like bubblegum. It smells sort of like... Um, it doesn't really smell like anything. It just kind of has no aroma whatsoever now. So there's no more bubblegum smell there. And uh, we'll see. There's our Thousand Yard Club card. We'll start with that because why not? It is Jerry Rice. That is awesome. Man, that is great. We are pulling 49ers Hall of Famers today like it is our job. That is awesome. We'll definitely put that in the wolf layer. Jeff Cross, defensive man for Miami. Robert Delfino, running back for the Rams. Craig Hayward. And uh, Ron Hall, who I do not remember at all, and he looks like a member of The Walking Dead there. Jim Harbaugh, who uh, has went on to be quite a successful coach. So that's a pretty neat card there from the Bears. Pete Mandley from uh, the Chiefs. I remember him mostly as a kick returner. Hart Lee Dykes, wide receiver for the Patriots, who I don't remember at all, I have to be honest with you. Maurice Hurst, I remember him. Good cornerback for the Patriots for several years. Top super rookie of Tim Worley running back for the Steelers, and he was pretty talented. I think he was a pretty high draft choice, as I recall, but uh, he just did not work out in the uh, NFL, as, as many people do not. Ray Horton for the, the Cowboys there, and then we got another draft pick, 1990 draft pick of Blair Thomas, and uh, he was picked by the Jets, and you can see he's still in his college uniform there, it looks like. Roger Craig, great running back for the 49ers, yet another 49ers. I think Roger Craig is in the Hall of Fame. Maybe he's not, but uh, he should be. He's a really great running back. Another draft pick of Jeff Alm. He looks about 15 years old in that picture. Jeff Alm, draft pick there for the Oilers. And uh, Ron Morris, wide receiver for the Bears. Pretty good player. Billy Ray Smith, linebacker for the Chargers. So that is not a bad pack either. I'll put that over here on the football side. Nice Roger Craig and Jerry Rice card come out of there. I cannot help myself. I have to roll for a fourth pack out of this mixed dorking box. See if we can balance it out and get another baseball pack, or will it be lopsided today with three football and one baseball? Let's find out on this dice roll. What do we get? Almost off the screen, but not quite. We get number six is our roll today. So we opened 
I'm trying to remember, I think we opened eight, or I don't remember. I know we opened one, I think it was eight. So uh, this is 10, nine, the eight we opened, seven, and then this would be six. Six is another football pack. This is Pro Set 1990, which is uh, one of the sets that was very overprinted. But from 1990 Pro Set, you can actually pull the uh, Super Bowl trophy card, which is a hologram card akin to the Stanley Cup trophy card that is in Hockey Pro Set from that year. And that's actually the... Uh, I'm trying to remember how this worked. The uh, hologram Super Bowl trophy card, I think they printed 10,000 of those. They only printed 5,000 of the hockey one. Or maybe I have it backwards. I think I'm right about that. I think they did 10,000 of the uh, the Super Bowl trophy cards. So it's a little easier to pull, supposedly. And it's definitely not as valuable as the Stanley Cup trophy card. That one is very hard to pull and very hard to find in a good graded condition. That is for sure. And they sell for a lot of money. But still, pulling the uh, Super Bowl trophy hologram would be a huge pull. I would love to do that. We'll see if we have even the slightest chance of that happening here. And of course, this is another 1990 football pack, so you would get an early card. I think it just ruined the corner of that last card back there, which is a Super Bowl card. But of course, we get the propaganda card. Toss that aside. Brian Socia, a uh, defensive tackle for the Dolphins. Get these in focus for you. There we go. And uh, Keith Van Horn, offensive lineman. Anthony Munoz, was one of the greatest tackles to ever play the game. That's a pretty nice Pro Bowl card. I'll put that in the Wolf Lair. I like that one. Pete Hollihan, tight end for the Rams. Marty Schottenheimer, <laughs> I think he's... Is he in the Hall of Fame? I think he's in the Hall of Fame as a coach. He certainly had a successful coaching career, uh, he, and he is still referenced today by many people. Uh, Norm Johnson, kicker for the Seahawks. Tim Harris, given the thumbs up from the Packers. Are you excited about being and working with Dice today, Tim Harris? Yes, yes he is. You can see it there all over his face underneath that helmet. Icky Woods. Icky Woods, of course, uh, famous for his Super Bowl performance with the Bengals and his dance, if you even want to call it that. I, I, to call it a dance is really to insult dancers everywhere, I think. Derek Thomas, another Hall of Famer there, great linebacker for the Chiefs. Pro Bowl card will put that in the uh, Wolf Lair. Ron Morris. Is that our second Ron Morris today? I think it might be a wide receiver for the Bears. And Sterling Sharp, NFL receiving leader. I don't know if Sterling Sharp is in the Hall of Fame. I think Shannon Sharp is, but I don't know if Sterling Sharp is. Still a pretty cool card there. Christian Okoye, powerful running back for the Chiefs. And he could just run guys over and shove them out of the way. It looks like he's shoving somebody out of his way right there. And there, he's not even... Like, the play has clearly been blown dead. And it's the Pro Bowl... So you're really not playing your hardest, but yet Christian Okoye is just shoving that Vikings guy out of the way. I don't know who that is. It's probably Carl Eller. I feel like he played for about 50 years in the NFL. Who do we have here? Raul Alegre. Man, I forgot about it. Raul Alegre. He was a really good kicker. Unless he was in the league for quite a long time. Luis Oliver, safety for the Dolphins. And then here's that Super Bowl card, the corner of which I, uh, I pulled a little bit when I opened the pack right there. You can see it. Way to go, Card Wolf. Nice job there with Super Bowl Seven. Uh, there we go. I'll put that one on top. So three football and one baseball today. That's what you get when you do the mixed box. You never know quite how the ratio is going to turn out. Let's look at what I put in the wolf lair because we pulled some pretty good stuff today, in my opinion. I think we did really well in our pulls today. We got Sterling Sharp here, a player I always really like. Derek Thomas, Hall of Famer. Anthony Munoz, great, great offensive lineman. Roger Craig, who I don't remember if he's in the Hall of Fame or not, but I feel like he should be. Jerry Rice, 1,000-yard club insert there. That is really sweet. Bo Jackson, we were hoping for the football one, but we got the baseball one, and I'm not going to complain about that. That is pretty awesome. Kellen Winslow, looks like he's throwing a pass there, which doesn't make sense to me, but he is a Hall of Fame tight end. Joe Montana, of course, we got the uh, Joe Montana hot pack there, which was awesome. Another Jerry Rice there on the scoring leaders cards, and we started off the whole show with this really nice Mike Singletary card, Topps All-Pro card there. Sweet, sweet stuff coming out of the Dorking with Dice box today. This has been a really fun show. I, I've been having a lot of fun with Dorking with Dice lately. i got to tell you guys, I hope you're having as much fun as I am and uh, that you've got some good weekend plans. It's, of course, Friday morning as I'm doing this, and I hope that you have some really nice weekend plans and that you're going to relax or maybe go somewhere and do something fun while the weather's still nice. It's been raining here the last few days, which we need, so I am in no way complaining about that. 
I will see you back here, most likely on Monday. I don't usually do weekend episodes, as you guys know, but uh, there's always a chance, but I'm, I'm not planning on that. You never know, though. My son might parade into my study on Saturday and be like, I want to make a video, and then, then we'll come up with something to do. But uh, most likely I will see you back here on Monday. I think I have yet another rack to open on Monday. That's right. You guys have been just outrageously generous sending me the cards lately. I opened up some great racks from you guys this week, from Danny and from Deedsy and from Goody G. All of you sent me fantastic cards. There were a couple of packs from Danny, in fact, that I put into this box because he sent me some really sweet unopened football stuff. And so I did put a couple of those in here. We didn't pull any of those, but uh, I'm sure we will get to them. All right, you guys, thanks so much for coming by. And as always, happy collecting.